and Paul from Red Light Therapy Kits and this is a short video demonstration on the head, neck, shoulder multi-purpose red light therapy pad. So the pad is specifically designed to go around the head, neck and shoulders. It houses 304 red and infrared LEDs. Now the red are 660 nanometers and the infrared 830 nanometers. They're the same wavelength in all of our products and they were chosen because of their known therapeutic effect on regenerating tissue. So you, you've got the red and the invisible infrared, red, infrared. You cannot see the infrared to the naked eye. We don't have the sight receptors for it. Now the red is all absorbed in the first centimetre of tissue. The infrared will penetrate a good five to six centimetres. So they do similar things, but at varying depths. Now, the, um, the main things that the red and the infrared do, particularly the infrared, is they stimulate the mitochondria of the cells to produce adenosine triphosphate. Adenosine triphosphate is the energy unit of the cells. Uh, they also stimulate what's called the nitric oxide cascade which is a vasodilator of the blood vessels. So you get extra blood flow going through to tissues. Uh, extra blood flow means extra nutrients and oxygenation going through. Light therapy is also very good for stimulating collagen production, which is that collagen is your protein unit for your tendon, ligament, muscle, skin repair. Um, and you'll hear that the, the collagen uh, use the tap term used a lot in uh, cosmetic application for light therapy. Serotonin production, melatonin production. Melatonin um, is important for as a regulator of your circadian rhythms. It, stim it promotes a much more restorative sleep. Um, another advantage is endorphin production as a pain management tool and very good as an anti-inflammatory effect and lymphatic drainage. So wherever you put the pad, you are going to be stimulating those natural body healing mechanism in a big way. So even though this is designed for the head, neck and shoulders, you can put it around your lower back, your hips, your knees, your feet, your hands, and it's going to have the same therapeutic effect. Now, specifically for using on the upper body, I'll go through the various positions. Your pad will actually come with a rechargeable lithium-ion battery with a holster attached and a clip. So that enables you to be totally mobile while you're giving yourself a therapeutic session. Um, lithium-ion rechargeable battery will go for a good two hours continuous and of course totally rechargeable. Your unit will come with a short strap and a longer elastic strap. So we'll go through the various applications of this now. So, simply, first position is like a cape. Voila. This is beautiful position for the shoulder girdle. It'll open up the blood flow throughout the tight shoulder muscles and up, up at the rear extension muscles into the occiput. If you want to put it further down the back, just change the small tab for the larger one and place it wherever you want it to go. So it's completely adjustable to its positioning and for the size of the person. Now, you'll notice that I'm wearing a light white shirt. The red and infrared wavelengths will easily penetrate light white cloth. Ideally, the therapy is best against the skin, but through light white cloth, we'll still get a very good therapeutic response. Thick cloth, not so much, and also colored cloth. Okay, the second position, you have the lower flap against the thyroid and you wrap one of the ends around and then the other. Ideally nice and firmly, you get the small tab and 
pop it in place. Now this really hugs the neck muscles in general and right up to the occiput. It covers the thyroid very well. Now, if you have an overactive thyroid, we recommend that you block the light onto the thyroid by using some cardboard or thick cloth or something because light has a stimulating effect on the thyroid. So if you have an underactive thyroid, uh, perfect. Just leave it as is. Now, the other beauty about this position is it really hugs up into the lymph nodes at the top of the jawline underneath. So it has a very profound effect on stimulating lymphatic drainage from the head. Uh, you've got your major superficial blood vessels on either side, which are also picking up the photonic energy, causing vasodilation to and from the brain. Uh, you've got your uh, jugular vein and the carotid artery. They're the two major superficial blood vessels. Now this position is ex especially good if you feel you're coming down with a head cold or a virus when you start to get that glandy feeling. If you can put the pad in this position for a good 30 minutes, even up to an hour, when you first start to feel those glands thicken, nine times out of 10, you will kick the virus right along and it will not take hold. Now if it has taken hold, this also is a position to use to help manage the symptoms and speed up your rate of recovery. Now, the next position, take the hat, the pad, and you create a little, little hat. Again, you can choose the sizing that you want. Okay, so it's like a little cap. You get your other strap and just it into place. So this really nicely covers the ears. Uh, we've had very good reports for um, symptoms of tinnitus, vertigo, from using the pad in this position. The infrared wavelength will penetrate the cranium. So in all of these positions, 20 minutes will give a good therapeutic session. But it's, a, it's an optional laser, you cannot do any harm if you fall asleep and it's on for two hours. The cells will reach saturation point and just absorb what they need in any one session. If you are dealing with a specific condition, you may well want to use it for much longer. Now, the last position for the head and neck is literally just to be lying down and place the pad, just drape it over the total face. So you have the infrared penetrating through the temporal lobes. And of course, you've got the cosmetic applications through onto the face. Now, if you are worried about eyes, don't be. The energy, the light energy being emitted is well and surely within safety limits for our eyesight. Um, but if, if it does concern you when the pad is directly over your face, you can um, block the total light with um, 20 cent pieces in the eye sockets or just wear a, a simple eye mask. Um, very important to keep well hydrated when you're doing light therapy because it is such a vasodilator and uh, lymph drainage, you're going to get mobilization of metabolites from cells. And so the more hydrated you are, the more you can flush those metabolites out of your system. Um, now, there's, the, the website is very comprehensive as far as the research, the links to the research is concerned. If you've got any questions, uh, don't hesitate to email us, info at redlighttherapykits.com or visit the website and go to the research page where we've got links to hundreds of published medical studies and also links to interviews with world leaders in research for light therapy. So thank you, and I wish you all the very best with your new head, neck, shoulder, multi-purpose red light therapy wrap. Thank you.